Number 97. Answer the following questions. And then we're at letter E out of the bunch. So in letter E, it says, the lifting capacity of a hot air balloon is equal to the difference in the mass of the cool air displaced by the balloon and the mass of the gas in the balloon. What is the difference in the mass of 1.00 liters of the cool air in part C and in the hot air in part D? So I went back into part C and part D and found the numbers that we needed. And all we needed were the density values. These are the density values. And remember, going through this problem, we did explain that the hot air balloon is less dense than the atmosphere. That's why a hot air balloon rises, because always the less dense substance will always be above the other substance. So that's why the hot air balloon is able to rise in the atmosphere, because it's just less dense. So the hot air is coming from the balloon, and the cool air is coming from the surrounding atmosphere. All we have to do is find the difference between them, right? And that's what's the lifting capacity. And remember, difference just means subtract. So all we have to do here is we just have to subtract the masses of one liter of the cool air and the hot air. Mass can never be negative. You can never have a negative mass. So you're always going to subtract the bigger number from the smaller number. The bigger number is the atmosphere one, and the smaller number is the hot air balloon. So all we're going to do here is we're just going to take the 1.2256 grams per liter and just subtract it with the 1.09683 grams per liter. And I could do this because they did say of one liter, right? And if it's grams per liter, grams per anything is always just one. So checks out. So now all we got to do is just subtract them. Let's see, 1.2256 minus 1.09683. I get roughly, and I guess we'll cut it off after maybe, eh, I guess we'll do four sig figs, I guess. 0 0.1288, if you round, right, it's 0.1287, but, you know, technically since this one has only, uh, four sig figs after the decimal, technically, you should have four sig figs after here, but does anyone care at this point? Absolutely not. <laughs> anyway, so what's the difference in the mass of one liter of cooled air? The difference in the mass is 0.288 grams per the one liter. So whether you want to just, you know, leave it as a gram and then say, you know, of one liter, or you could just leave it as this, technically each answer is fine. But that's it. All right. That's the end for this one. So let's see what the next question has us doing. All right. So thank you so much. We have a couple more parts. So I will see you in a little bit. And if you wouldn't mind, press the subscribe button. Thank you. And tell your friends. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.